Hello everyone, Josh here from Elgo SPX. All our Discord members have been showing consistent profits with these trade alerts. So this is SPX and our SPX 1 day to expiration 1 DTE setup. This trade is intended to take advantage of the accelerated time decay of the options as we get closer to expiration, since it is a 1 DTE trade expiring tomorrow after market close. There is a possibility of holding this position overnight, which has some overnight gap risk. So we recommend that our members trade a lot size equal to half that they would normally take. Today is Jan 5th, Tuesday, and we have SPX options expiring on Jan 6th, Wednesday. We realize that the theta decay on the options are highest as we get closer to expiration date and it peaks at one day to expiration. We usually take a 5 lot position for our 0 DTE SPX and so we went with 2 lots for this trade. We do intend to hold this overnight and that is a reason for the reduced lot size. Starting off we are at 10 a.m. New York time and we enter our Ironfly and alert our Discord channel on this trade. This was alerted in our Discord channel for our members to follow along. We usually sell near the money options which decay faster and buy cheap options far away just to reduce the buying power. Here we will sell the 3720 put and sell the 3720 call and at the same order we buy the 3520 put and buy the 3920 call. This is essentially a 3720-3920 call credit spread and a 3720-3520 put credit spread combined into one trade. We do see that we get a net credit of around 50 for this trade. For two lots, that would be $10,000 net credit. We do intend to manage this trade if there are violent moves in SPX and we will closely monitor our net delta to keep that in check and alert our members of any adjustments if needed. The current time is around 12 p.m. New York time and SPX is at 3714. We see our net delta around 15. Unless our delta exceeds 60, we don't touch the trade and let theta do its work. SPX at 3714 is still within our break even, given the huge credit we received for this trade. Okay, the current time is 1 p.m. New York time, and delta is around 5 and SPX at 3718. Let's continue to monitor our delta every hour going forward. At this point, we set up alerts for SPX prices around break even prices and walk away. The current time is around 2 p.m. New York time and the last two hours of trading day. SPX currently trading at 37.29 and Delta at 26 looks great for the day. We are currently in a net gain of around $800 for the day, which is great. Finally, the last hour of trading for Tuesday, Jan 5th, 3 p.m. New York time. SPX at 37.30 is still well positioned. At this point, we instructed our members to take profits on half the lots and hold the other half overnight. Last 5 minutes left in the trading day for Tuesday, Jan 5th and we are certain to hold this position overnight with reduced lot size. If anyone is not comfortable holding positions overnight, we ask them to exit with gains here. Checking the economic calendar and no overnight event risk, everything checks out as anticipated. Gain of about $1,200 on the day so far. We are at 9.30 a.m. on Wednesday, Jan 6th and market has just opened and SPX opens at 37.08 with a delta of 36. We see a net gain of $4,600 and we exit all positions here immediately. So there you go, a full recap of our 1 DTE system that we do in addition to the 0 DTE on SPX and net profits around $5,000 gain on $20,000 capital invested. A great 25% return on capital in just one day, primarily attributed to strategic trading and cautious position sizing. If there are any questions on the terms and strategies used here, please email us for further clarification. I have added the link to join our Discord server in the description and feel free to leave a comment for any queries. Happy trading everyone and hope to see you in the chat room.